Love the quality of life here. Love having the Flinders Ranges as a background. Love having the Spencer Golf in the foreground as well. It's a dynamic community. Uh, it has a number of challenges. And I think the Salvos are, are pretty well suited to being a part of this community, yeah. So we work quite intentionally with Aboriginal people and Aboriginal communities and do a lot in the space of outreach work to connect with people and helping them to, yeah, to find somewhere safer to be. My name's Scott Cugley and I manage the Salvation Army's homelessness services here in Port Augusta. I also oversee some of the youth work that happens here and have a close connection with the core and uh, other, other streams that are located at our site here. We have a range of services here in Port Augusta, um, ranging from obviously the church first and foremost, but we also have a family store, we have the homelessness program, we have doorways, we have a youth bus, we have another program called Connected Horizons, which um, is under the state program for Indigenous youth. We also have um, the Selvos Hub, and I think that's mainly it. I don't think I've left anyone out. <laughs> One of our strongest aspects is that we, we're working together to create a thriving place for everybody in the community so that um, everybody has a place that they can belong. I want to hope for the future here that is the Salvation Army will be that place where people will just want to come, um, just to have a chat, come if they've got a need, just to be a welcome place, but a place where Christ is glorified, where we just lift the name of Jesus on high and we worship him. We want to see a revival in Port Augusta because we think there's so much more that Christ wants to do in this place. Um, so we just want to be part of that. Particularly over COVID, we're able to experiment with some different ways to engage with young people and that included some of the, the media and social media content. So it's been excellent to see over time young people taking part in that, you know, getting involved in podcasting, um, looking at recording some of their own music and yeah, learning to use some of the uh, video equipment that we've got and we're hoping that over time they'll be able to use those platforms to tell their own stories um, and to highlight issues that are relevant to them as a youth community. This room is in the early beginnings of something and uh, we're hoping that it will become a space that young people would feel comfortable, where young people would feel they can explore their creativity, where they can uh, maybe learn a bit more about themselves, and that it would probably bring a sense of belonging. Yeah, I think that's what I would hope for this space. Yeah. As you can probably see around the room, uh, we've sort of uh, started up our own little podcast where we actually engage with our youth and just try to spread our message to the whole of Port Augusta. And also we have, uh, so like behind me, we've got like our little music stuff here and we have video games as well. I'm very passionate about youth because I believe that they are the future. I know it does sound a bit cliche, but what is the truth? I believe that not, not enough is probably done to actually make the kids of today realise that they are important, that they do matter and that uh, if they are going through tough times, I think it's really important for us as youth workers to walk alongside them to make them feel that they're very important. I would want people to know that if they come to the Salvos, somebody's gonna listen, somebody's gonna know how to uh, support them or connect them to a support that would be helpful, and uh, that in doing that, they'd feel valued as a person and included with, within a broader community. So I think that's what I hope.